Hi, this is Dale O'Shills, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional time. We're really glad that you're a part of these. I hope they're a blessing in your life. We're talking this week about the mercy of God. And we understand mercy as we talked about yesterday because God is merciful. Jesus made this statement in his great Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5, verse number 7. He said, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Notice that statement. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God encourages us to behave toward others in the same way that he treats us. That is, mercy is treating other people the way God treats you. I want you to think in your own life. How many times have you sinned against God and he has mercifully for forgiven you? How many times have you gotten yourself into some awful predicament and God mercifully rescued you? How many times have you forgotten about God, but in his mercy he never forgot about you? How many times have you faced some kind of attack in your life and God mercifully came to your aid? See, God reaches down to us in his mercy and he expects us to do this to other people and for other people as well. In fact, Jacob himself said in Genesis chapter 32, verse number 10, he described his own condition. Jacob went through a lot of failures, ups and downs in his own life. And in Genesis 32, verse 10, he says, I am not worthy of all the faithfulness and unfailing love you have shown to me. He says, God, I am not worthy of all this, this faithfulness, all this unfailing love you have shown to me, your servant. When I left home, I owned nothing except a walking stick, and now my household fills two camps. That is, Jacob said, God, you've been merciful to me. I want to encourage you to begin to exp experience and receive not only the mercy of God for you, but to extend that same mercy to others.